morning. Rightio, guys. Hello. We have got. Whoa, that was in high range. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Um, yeah, morning. Uh, we got a big change of plans today. We were going to go and try and seed um, 85 hectares of cracking forage barley down on our flat out at Blaley there, but we've got um, a paddock out there that was reefinated last year. We were supposed to sow to wheat last year. We never ever did it because we never had enough time to go back and finish tidying up the paddock. Now, we were cleaning up the contour banks out the, bank, out the back of the paddock there and there's just piles of dirt everywhere. Um, so what we're thinking today, rather than getting two half jobs done before potentially some rain, we'll just try and get one job done and we'll go out there and finish seeding that paddock that I'm in, which is only going to take me less than an hour really, and then um, we'll go and move um, all the piles of dirt out the back before it rains, because once it rains, that dirt's going to be really, really sticky and hard to move, so we'll rush around and do this and now it won't rain. You wait, you watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just going to connect that to the seed and fert trailer again here. Uh, we're going to fill that up with crack and barley and fertiliser, take it out there, because it's not going to make any difference whether we seed that paddock before it rains or afterwards. So this was a really, really snap decision to uh, grab the camera today. I didn't have the batteries charged. I got all oh, yesterday's footage on there, but I thought it'd be a good day to have it. So, see how we go. righty -o. I think this is out of grease, so I think we'll fill this up before we go anywhere. That's the problem with these grease cartridges. I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes they just get an airlock in them and and they don't want to go. It's still half full of grease. Dad said it was empty. See if we can get it working. Seems like a real waste. But what we will do... Oh, I just pulled that off there. You're kidding me. I've opened that up, ready to put that on. Oh, unreal. There we go, like a new one. We'll get some seed and fur in this thing, and uh, we'll get on the road. Will that have to go in the middle bin? Yeah. So we want to fill up with fertiliser, but every year this DAP just does not seem to want to run out of the bin. Bloody horrible stuff. Just doesn't want to play the game. Down to life to let go then. Well that's always more stressful than it needs to be. Rightio, let's get out of here. Alright, we'll go get a little bit of vetch in this and a little bit of grease as well, I think. Oh, it says about five hectares. Five, uh, five and eight, 200 kilos. Uh, I think there should be plenty in there. There's got to be at least 300 kilos in there. Probably still have 200 kilos left in there. <laughs> I just leave it the same and see how you go. Grab that grease gun. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll do it afterwards. I've only got to finish this bit and then I'll be stopped, so... Hopefully a quick and painless four and a half hectares. And we'll get on with something else. We'll shift some dirt. Just add moisture. 
probably at least one inch. I'll settle for one inch. 25 millimeters, nothing less. Nothing less. <laughs> well, I'm glad that paddock is done. There is almost nothing enjoyable about seeding that paddock. The only, probably the only good thing is the view from the top of the hill, but that is just a, as I've said before, some of that land is just a dog's breakfast. <laughs> and by that I mean, it's good land, it's good soil, it's just horrible paddocks and horrible shapes in some places. Suddenly, it's 11.30 and I'm feeling hungry. Feeling a bit hungry. You can see there's an old bank here. Dad's been busy. Mizzy? <laughs> He's been busy removing. Doesn't really do anything anymore. It's just a big old bank sitting in the middle of a flat paddock. Just open it up so we can uh, do nice long straight lines in here now. Be very nice. Now, where are we going here? Whoa! This is a spot the reefinator went over last year. <laughs> She's a bit rough. Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Maybe we'll actually get this paddock cleaned up, finished cleaning it up, and maybe we'll be able to actually plant wheat in there, in here this year like we were supposed to last year. And maybe we'll even get enough rain so we can come out and harvest it in the summertime. Because that's something that we have not done out in this paddock for a very, very long time. It's all improvements though. It's all improvements. We're getting there. We're getting there. Got a couple of new shoes on the, on the loader. Dad was uh, shifting a bit of dirt at home there and he, he was like, something, something doesn't feel right here. Uh, those front tyres are absolutely stuffed anyway, so yeah, bit of money on some new rubber. She eat dusty. So for any of you guys who are watching and you're wondering, um, what these piles of dirt are or why they're here. Basically, there just used to be a whole heap of old contour banks running around the top of these hills here. Um, now, we don't need the contour banks anymore. They're an absolute pain because we just, with our GPS systems, we want to work straight lines and everything now. I did a video on this last year as well. Uh, basically, back in the day when they used to till the soil a lot to kill weeds, set up a seed bed and all that sort of thing for the crops. If you got a big rain on that bare soil, it would wash away a lot of topsoil, it would run a lot of water and do a lot of damage. So the answer for that was to put contour banks in around all the tops of these hills and the sides of these hills. But we don't really need them anymore. Um, we don't uh, till the soil like that, like they used to. And uh, we just come in and sow our crop directly into whatever stubble or sort of organic matters here and uh, generally we can get away with that with modern technology and, and modern farming practices so yeah i just thought i'd row over that again quickly just so you knew exactly what was going on here since all the COVID saga and not being able to go away from for uh, Easter um, I'm ready for a day off I haven't had a day off in what feels like an eternity now just just farming but I'm ready I'm more than ready now
God's melon. <laughs> these these things are paddy melons. If you don't know, if you're a farmer, you'd probably already know. But I don't know why we can't hybrid these with something and just make these delicious. I don't know, desert watermelon type things. Like you get 15 mil of rain and then these things will grow all summer and grow melons like this. I don't know, they're a horrible weed to be honest. Nothing likes to eat them, nothing. There's only one more pile after this I think that I've seen, so, well, there's actually there's some dirt down there by the creek too, and we're gonna have to go move that too. Hmm. Don't know, we'll see. Well, now we've picked up all the little mounds from over there from the contours, we've got this here to collect. <laughs> oh dear. Plenty more to do. Well, I just walked to the back of the truck. <laughs> to uh, undo this, so I could pop the tailgate and tip it up. Well, I never ever redid it up after I unloaded last time, so that was clever. Could have ended up with a big pile of dirt out in the paddock. It is amazing how high up you have to tip to get the dirt out, literally all the way. <laughs> well, the uh, old sun's got a little bit warm this afternoon. I had to put the hat on to protect the old melon. That might just about be our last load over there, I reckon. We still do have one contour bank up around the other side that needs tidying up, but I don't know if we'll get there today. And man, the weather has changed a lot. It was sunny before, warm, now it's almost cold. Oh, I think he's got a bit greedy while filling the truck. Now I'm faced with an absolutely tragic predicament I've eaten all my lunchbox and uh, I'm getting hungry. Well, this was a little wash way before. This is the aftermath. Not sure if he's a grader or a dozer. There's no way I could get it that smooth or as smooth as he's getting it. Wow, hey, there's a hell of a shower of rain going out that way. Ah, we can only dream. We can only dream of it. Not bad. Not bad at all. I am. Um so glad that dad likes driving the loader because I don't think I have the patience oh well I definitely don't have the skill <laughs> to uh, to uh, get it this sort of smooth and looking this good pretty happy and uh, also I just felt two drops of rain hit me on the face so that was pretty awesome <laughs> It is just little improvements like this. Get out of my eye, fly. <laughs> Try that again. It is just little improvements like this that make farming a lot more efficient and a lot more enjoyable. Um, coming into an odd shaped paddock like this, there's hardly any straight lines. You got little washways going through, you gotta try and dodge. Your guidance just wants to go on a straight line and now, thankfully to doing things like that, it makes your job a lot easier and it makes it faster. It's nice, it's nice to get little things like this done and little improvements. It's a long process and you feel like you're never ever finished. Rightio, it's about five o'clock and uh, I gotta swap back to the seed and fur trailer and take that home with me, so I'm gonna go do that now. And uh, get out of here, call it a day. Let's send it. Knock off time, you beauty. Hey, buddy.
buddy. How are you? Alrighty guys, that's all for today. I've had enough. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us a thumbs up if you can, subscribe if you like the videos and uh, have a good one. We'll see you next time.